security in that, and I can make that happen. This is our first time outside, and I have to say, thank goodness for Mother Nature holding off. We've been getting more of a tease for spring, and finally it looks like we're getting some nice warm weather. But again, thank you all for coming out. My name is Uncle Yo. Yeah, I know, I thought I'd be Asian too. I have the honor of hosting our sixth annual cosplay fashion show. Cosplay is a word and a phrase and a hobby that Japan borrowed originally from us. They combine two words, costume and the most important one, the second one, play. And we took that phrase and we took it right back because that's how we roll. Costume and play. No matter what, it's being something temporarily that inspired you. At some point, all of the people backstage have made their costumes from scratch. They've been buying back and forth from Joann's, from fabric stores, from Home Depot for some of the more eccentric materials that you'll see backstage. But one of the most fascinating parts for me about cosplay is where those inspirations come from. Someone you saw in a, ca in a comic book, someone you saw on a screen when you downloaded it from Japan, an anime you saw, a movie you saw. That character had something that inspired you to want to show something. I say year after year that cosplay is a chance for the average Clark Kent to show the Superman within. And there's no other movie that's ever shown that example to me than the, the hit sensation when Disney released Frozen. So a couple of a couple of months ago at another anime convention, friends of mine showed up and did a full Disney princess photo shoot. They had everybody. They had Pocahontas, they had Mulan. I know she's not a princess. That's your fault for not watching the sequel. It was a good movie. They had Ariel, they had Cinderella, and a friend of mine was breaking out her Elsa cosplay from Frozen. First time ever rocking this. They get out to the Baltimore Harbor for the photo shoot. Children are swarming them left and right to get photos with the real Disney princesses. With photos for the real Disney princesses. Eventually the mothers thank them, drag them away. And I go up to, to high-five my fiancé's friend who came with us, and I notice her makeup is running. I notice tears are going down her face, and I say, oh no, someone stepped on her foot, someone elbowed her in the ribs. Are you okay, Chelsea? And she looks at us and says, no one's ever called me pretty before. And I got that today. This is a one-time opportunity for people to get on a stage this beautiful in front of such an amazing, supportive audience. And we want to thank you again from the bottom of my heart for coming out and supporting the nerds, the weirdos, the cosplayers, the enthusiasts, the hobbyists, the people who have the chance to show their love for you. So thank you everyone for coming out today. And let's get this show on the road. Oh, I have drums behind me this year. We broke it down into six groups this year and we're ready to launch off our first five contestants. playing the drums that you just saw from our last performance. <laughs>
Sato as Yuko Ichihara from XXX Holic. trying after me to do. Okay. I have no choice. As you can see it's not easy but I do.